And the FBI says a man from Middle Tennessee planned to go to the southern border and attack federal agents. Now, an expert tells News 2's Adam Mincer it's all part of an increase in militia groups here in Tennessee. An undercover FBI investigation starting on TikTok and ending in an arrest. According to FBI agents, Paul Fay from Cunningham in Montgomery County was a militia member, and he believed the federal government was allowing illegal immigrants to enter the country, and the government was trying to take on its citizens. According to the agents, Fay said, the Patriots are going to rise up because we are being invaded. We are being invaded. And Faye said he had some things that go boom, boom, boom when you want them to, in that it was time to step things up. Prosecutors charged him with selling an unregistered firearm suppressor. Domestic terrorism expert Amy Cooter explains. Some militia members engage in violent planning and possible violent action. Many of them see it as their personal duty to combat something that they believe is negative about U.S. society that's changing. Cooter said groups like these can be found in all 50 states, but Tennessee has always had an active presence. Over time, we have seen an increase in these militia style groups in Tennessee. There are at least concerns. We don't have great data right now, but there are concerns that they are once more growing in size in anticipation of the next presidential election. She explained these groups see the southern border in particular as a symbol of unwanted cultural change. They know we have fairly large immigrant populations in Nashville and a few other places, so I think it's very salient to them. Uh, some of them also believe if we don't stop it at the southern border, well, it, it won't be long before it's here. And Cooter adds not all of these militia groups are the same. Many of them have actually mocked actions like Faye's online. Faye faces a maximum sentence of 10 years in prison. If convicted on the charge, he will appear in federal court on February 12th for a detention hearing. Mark, Adam, thank you so much.